on 2nd May 2021, the NTF government in Kerala broke a 40-year-old jinx in Kerala politics by winning a historic second term in recently concluded elections into Kerala Legislative Assembly. In the last 40 years, no single party or a coalition achieved this landmark by ruling two consecutive terms in Kerala. In this explainer, we discuss about the first member of Kerala Legislative Assembly. You think it is interesting? Then we can move forward. The Kerala state was formed in 1956, November 1st, by merging Travancore, Kochi and Malabar presidencies of Kerala. The first general elections were held in 1957. The Communist Party of India won this election with a majority of 60 seats. EMS Nambudiri Park became the first Chief Minister of Kerala and the first ever Communist Chief Minister of a state in India. The first Kerala Legislative Assembly was formed on April 1, 5, 1957 and this assembly had 127 members including a nominated member. At present, the number of members in Kerala Legislative Assembly is limited to 141. Now, let us come into the interesting part of our explanation. In the first Kerala Legislative Assembly, the first person to take pledge as the member of Kerala Legislative Assembly was Rosama Punus who won from Devikulam, Iduki district of Kerala. She was also the first MLA in India to lose her seat following a court order and the first person to be elected in the first ever by-election to the assembly in 1958. Punus was also the first pro-time speaker of the Kerala Legislative Assembly. Rosama was born in Kanyarapalli in Travancore Kingdom on 12th May 1913 as the fourth child of a traditional Catholic family who were Congress supporters. She graduated with a degree in law from the Madras Law College and she began her political career by joining the Travancore State Congress in 1938 influenced by her elder sister Akama Cheriyan. Kama Charyan was also an independent activist and both sisters were imprisoned at Central Prison Pujapura by the British in 1939. But Rosama was released from prison three years later. Despite objections from her family and community, Rosama married P.T. Punos, a leader of the Communist Party of India, in 1946. Rosama joined the CPI in 1948 in the first assembly election in the state of Kerala in 1957. She was elected to the assembly from Devikulam constituency. Her husband had been elected to the Lok Sabha in 1952 general election and retained his seat in the 1957 general election, marking a rare occurrence of an elected husband and a wife in Kerala politics. Rosama was the first person to be sworn in as a member of the assembly. She also administered the oath to office to other legislators, becoming the first pro time speaker of the assembly. However, Rosama lost her seat following the court invention but regained it in the first ever by election to the assembly in 1958. Rosama remained with the CPI when the Communist Party of India Marxist emerged due to a party split in 1964. She unsuccessfully contested in 1982 assembly election from Alapi constituency. In the 1987 election, Rosama was elected to the assembly for a second time from the same constituency. She also served as the president of Kerala Mahila Sangham from 1969 to 1983 and was the chairperson of the Plantation Corporation from 1964 to 1969 
and was the head of the housing board from 1978 to 1978 and was a member of the rubber board for 10 years she was the chairperson of the kerala women's commission from 1993 until 1998 when she retired rosama died on 28 december 2013 